the root of David. He is the bright morning. And the morning star, the prince of peace, the alpha and the omega. Walking in sunlight. All of my journey. Over the mountain, over the mountain. Jesus has said I, but the Lord said I'm never going to say it. Oh Lord, that's a promise, divine word, a promise that never can fail. Oh, oh, oh heavenly, heavenly son, y'all will look like you do. Oh, heavenly son. Because Jesus did something for us to help us be saved, for the Bible says that he rescues us. Come on in here, somebody, yeah. from the wrath to come. Right. Okay, you didn't know it. Okay, here it is, newsflash. Let me upload this to your spiritual hard drive. Y'all keep smiling. The Bible says he rescues us from the what? The, the wrath, wrath, wrath to wrath. come. All right, here it is. The wrath is coming. What's your name as a neighbor? Yeah. The wrath is coming. Wrath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bible says the wrath is coming. What wrath. is the wrath? The wrath that is what you and I deserve for all of the bad behavior and the sins that we have done. That is the punishment. But my Bible tells me that Jesus rescues yeah. us. Isn't that all right? Amen. Isn't that all right? Amen. Now, now the word rescue means that Jesus is our spiritual lifeguard. Amen. All right. Uh huh. I know. I know. I ain't the only one in here that can't swim. Right. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. And while I'm on that, y'all remember I told you a few weeks ago, you you and I were drowning in sin. Amen. Somebody, Amen. you were drowning in sin, and you were about to die, but all of a sudden Jesus Christ came through in your life to rescue you from sin. Amen. Somebody. Us, which means that he has delivered us from harm or danger. Yeah. He has delivered us. In other words, the, the word means uh, to draw a person to oneself. So when the lifeguard sees the person in the pool drowning or in the ocean or the sea, the river, the lake drowning, the lifeguard sees that and what he does is he draws you to himself. Yeah. That's what he did when he rescued us. Mm -hmm. Because when you and I uh, were drowning in sin, I wish I had one or two people in here amen. that can say amen right amen. through here. Amen. Let me try it one more time. You didn't hear it. I said when you and I were drowning in sin, amen. Jesus was our spiritual lifeguard. Yeah. And he saved us and he rescues us. Amen, amen. somebody. Amen. And we're going to really appreciate being rescued. Somebody shout rescued. 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 Aren't you happy that you've been rescued? Yeah. Yes, sir. You've been rescued by Jesus. What are you rescued from, Brother Jones? From the wrath to come. Somebody shout wrath to come. Wrath to come. Which means that the wrath is coming. Yeah. But, but the beauty about being rescued is that we were imprisoned under a law. Amen. We were under a law that could not save us. Amen. Amen. All the law did yeah. was show us and tell us right. how right. we could never become righteous on our own. Yeah, that's right. Right. It's kind of like looking, and I know all yeah. y'all sisters did this this morning, praise God. Y'all smile this morning. It's like looking in the mirror. <laughs> the thing about your, your, your mirror is, your mirror can tell you what's wrong with you, mm -hmm. but it can't fix it. Amen. 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 Go ahead, Brad. And that's what the law did. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. The law could tell us how bad we are, how wrong we are, mm -hmm. how in, in, insufficient our moral and spiritual behavior is, but it couldn't fix it. Amen. So what released us from the law was this concept called grace. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody here understand grace? Amen. Grace. Somebody shout grace. 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 grace is when God came into our lives. Uh -huh. And he, we, he saw that the law had us down. Yeah. The law had us going to hell. I wish I had a witness. Yeah. So he decided to send Jesus when we were swimming in sin. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. To rescue us and give us some grace. Yeah. Amen, yeah. somebody. Yeah. So you're never going to appreciate Jesus rescuing us until you understand the difference between law, somebody shout law, wow. and grace, somebody shout yeah. grace. grace. Now watch this. Now, if you mess up, and commit a crime, 
whatever the law says is what your punishment is going to be. Amen. The only way you may be able to be rescued or escape. Anybody in, ever had to pay a ticket? Yeah. Mm -hmm. now, now, now watch this. Hear me now. Don't raise your hand or don't say nothing. Okay? Anybody here ever went to jail? Mm -hmm. Remember I told you? Don't raise your hand. <laughs> what about looking at you funny? I know you've been saying for years now. All right? <laughs> some, it's some stuff folks don't need to know. Am I right about it? Amen. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch it. Here it is. Uh, let Brother Jones help you. So when you broke that law, the, the law says this is your punishment for that crime. Mm -hmm. The only way you could get away from that is if the judge has some grace on you. Yeah. Because the law says jail time for two years. Yeah. But the judge says, since you had not done this your whole life, yeah. since you had never been in here before, since I have never seen you before, I'm not going to give you what the law says you deserve. Oh, Y'all ain't getting this anymore. I want to give you some grace. Amen, yeah. somebody. Yeah. And that's what Jesus gives us. Amen. Because the Bible says, for the wages of sin, of sin yeah. is death, yeah. but the gift of God is eternal life yeah. in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen, somebody. Yeah. What are you doing? He rescued us. That's why we have to put all of our trust, all of our faith in waiting on the Lord. Because let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, you got to realize how bad a sinner you were. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Let me tell you something. Uh, beloved, with all the love I can give you right now to help you understand this, you have to look at your life as a macrocosm of sin. Mm -hmm. You have what the Bible describes and Paul describes in the book of Romans as a body of sin, mm -hmm. which means that God kept tabs on every lie you told. Mm -hmm. Y'all hearing this? Mm -hmm. God remembered everything you stole. Yeah. And I know we don't like to consider ourselves as people who steal. But if you ever went to a grocery store and been shopping for groceries and you know usually the vegetables and the fruit fruits are on the, 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 the wall sections. Uh -huh. And you say, you know what, that strawberry look real good. <laughs> huh? <laughs> and you say them grapes look so good. Now I don't want to get them, but just let me try one. Oh, <laughs> What are you doing, Brother Jones? I stole them. <laughs> and you don't want to say that. Well, you try to justify to yourself so what I was really doing was want to try one of them because I didn't want to buy the whole thing. Nah, man. Nah, man, you stole them. Yeah, yeah. Here, here it is. God saw it. Yeah. Somebody yeah. shout God saw. God saw. Somebody shout God remembered it. God remembered. Somebody shout God recorded it. God recorded. Okay, what did he do? He saw it, he, he recorded it, he remembered it, and he placed that in your total body of sin. Mm -hmm. We try to come up in church with suits on and nice outfits <laughs> and act like we don't do nothing. Mm -hmm. You need the blood of Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Because the only that cleanses sin is blood. Good. And the only way you get access to blood is if Jesus comes into your life Amen. and rescue you. Amen. So you got to admit where you've been. Mm -hmm. You got to admit what you've done. You got to admit the kind of lifestyle that you uh -huh. lived. And one thing that I want to teach us is that we don't put life in perspective sometimes. Mm -hmm. We just go about life frivolously and acting like we can just do what we want, say what we want, behave the way we want to because society accepts mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. One thing you got to keep in mind that when you die yeah. or when Christ comes back, he's not going to judge us on the Constitution. Uh, right. Amen. Like running around right now. Amen. He's not going to judge us on what the government allowed. Because the government allows you to love whoever you so-called want to love and marry who you so-called want to marry, regardless of uh, sex and all of that time yeah. stuff. Amen, somebody. Y'all know me. I'm a preacher. I'm not scared to say this stuff. Amen. Homosexuality in Rome. Amen. In Rome. Yes, it is. But make sure you understand, lying is wrong, too. That's right. Yeah. Fornication is wrong too. Yeah. Adultery is wrong too. So don't don't just because 
that sin is more detestable to you and me uh, as opposed to lying. Amen. God credits it on the same level. Amen. It's just sin. But I, I'm just here to tell you that it's wrong. Amen, somebody. Amen. I'm just here to tell you that it's wrong. But I'm trying to help you understand that we live in, we're, we're living life as if as if this life is not about to come to a close at some point. Amen. What you gonna do when you die? Mm. And say, well, I want to live my life. When a preacher told you, uh -huh. you can't live the kind of life you want to. Uh -huh. You got to live the kind of life God wants you to. Amen. What you gonna do when you die? Mm -hmm. And have to stand before God. What you gonna say? Uh-huh. You want Jesus to rescue you. Amen. And the only way Jesus is going to rescue us is if we do what he tells us to do. Amen. That way we can be waiting on the Lord. That's right. Amen. I want to be waiting on the Lord. I want to make sure if Christ came back right now, yeah. mm -hmm. he'll know me. Yeah. He'll know where my faith is. Yeah. He knows that your faith is in him and my faith is in him because yeah. the only thing that's going to matter, it doesn't matter how much money you have Amen. in your bank account. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how many times you didn't curse uh, or you didn't lie or you didn't steal mm -hmm. or you didn't cheat. The only thing that's going to matter in the, in the grand scheme of your life yeah. and my life is if we did. Mm -hmm. Uh, what he said to do yeah. when he told us to do it the way that he said to do it. Yeah. Now, if you just want to play Russian roulette with your soul, you can go by all means. You can go ahead and do it. But I don't don't say that God didn't send a preacher like a FedEx man trying to give you a spiritual package to help you get the glory. Amen, somebody. You won't be able to have that excuse. I love you with all the love in my heart, and I'm really... I'm hollering and screaming, but I'm preaching this in love. Amen. Because let me tell you, let me, let me tell you, let me tell you, all of us got to die one day. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you what my prayer is. My prayer is that all of us in here get elongated life. Amen. Yeah. And the reason why I'm praying that for our people here at Grace View and all of those who come with us is because I believe that if God gives us more life, then we can do more for him. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So God, I, 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 our our um, argument with God is, God, if you give us life, we'll do more for you. Amen. We'll glorify you if Amen. you give us more life. Amen. Um, uh, the Bible says in Proverbs 14, uh, hear, O my son, yeah. and receive these yeah. sayings, yeah. and the years of your life shall be many. Somebody yeah. shall be many. Yeah. I need to help you understand that. So don't play with your soul as if you're so righteous and you're so holy, but all have sinned Amen. and fallen sharp. Yeah. Of the glory of God. We need to make sure that we allow Jesus to rescue us. Amen. Amen. If you got a family member, if you got a co-worker, if you got a loved one, if you got somebody in your family that's a, a guilty distance away from Christ. That's right. Every day. Every every day. Yeah, you need to be calling them, yeah. encouraging them to come here and hear the truth. Because if you lose your soul, you should sing a song, it won't be nobody's fault. Amen. 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 Ron and C. Jones, minister of the Grace Free Church of Christ here in beautiful Anderson, South Carolina. We just want to take out this time to thank you for watching. We are broadcasting to 1.4 million homes in upstate South Carolina, western North Carolina, and northeast Georgia. And we just want to say thank you for, for getting up every Thursday morning at 6.30 a.m. and supporting our broadcast. Uh, write us to let us know what you think. Write us to let us know that the teaching helped you. Uh, you can reach us at graceviewcoc at gmail.com or you can write us at P.O. Box 722, Anderson, South Carolina, 29622. Also, make sure you like us on Facebook. The information should be on your screen. And just know all of the Passion for Christ episodes are archived on our YouTube channel. That's youtube.com forward slash grace view sc god bless you for tuning in let's get back to this message it's going to bless your life thank you so much for watching Amen. why because the bible the word of god makes christians and christians only Amen. Amen. yeah uh -huh. and he places us in the church of christ uh -huh. the Amen. church of christ is not a denomination Amen. Amen. can't be more than one of a thing if it's only one of the thing there's uh -huh. <laughs> only one church it's only one church and God places us in that church when we are baptized into Christ. Amen. Amen. What are you doing, Brother Jones? Trying to rescue you? All right.
and you get you to see how Jesus wants to rescue you. So you got to make sure if God went to the extreme lengths to do all of that for us, we got to make sure that we embrace and, and, and accept God's grace. Somebody shout God's grace. God's grace, God's grace. God's grace awesome. See, you can leave here feeling good. Oh, yeah. Not because you're going to live perfect, but because you are, your faith is in the one who is perfect. Amen, yeah. yeah. somebody. Yeah. 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 My faith is in the one who is perfect. Yeah. So Amen. I don't have to live absolutely perfect. Anybody ever tried it before? Mm -hmm. I, I tried it before y'all. Do it, it don't work, y'all. <laughs> I don't know about it. I tried it, but it don't work. But I know what does work. Jesus works. Amen. Somebody, His blood keeps cleansing me over and over and over again. Amen. Somebody, anybody here love the blood? Yeah. And now let me wrap this thing up. So the last thing I want to tell you quickly is. Your faith can become an example for believers um, once you serve God. Somebody shout serve God. Serve, serve God. God. All right, 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 9. Notice what the Bible says. Paul says, talking about the those in Thessalonica, for they themselves report to us what kind of reception we had with you and how you turn to God. Somebody shout turn to God. Turn to God. Oh, what did you turn from God? From Paul? From idols. Okay, let's slow it down right there. He says, from idols, what do next two words say? To serve. Somebody shout to serve. To serve. Somebody shout to serve. To serve. To serve. Right. Now, now, I told you earlier, if you wanted to look at some characteristics of these Christians in, in Thessalonica, mm -hmm. they were imitators of the Lord and of the brethren. They also turned to God from idols. Amen. Don't have time, but it's a powerful testimony of based on where you were from and what you turned to. I just don't have time today. But the second thing, the third thing I told you was they waited on Jesus. Amen, somebody. Amen. They waited on Jesus. But here, the Bible says once they turn to God from idols, uh, the Bible says to serve the living and true God. What do they do? They serve. Sir. Somebody shall serve. Sir. 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 When you serve them. The living and true God. God. Okay, that's what the Bible says. But like I said, <sighs> who you serve. That's all right now. <laughs> that's all right. The word serve um, means to become a slave of. Now don't you sit up here and lie now. Amen. Y'all keep smiling. Amen. Okay. Um, who are you serving? Who are you serving? Now I, I, let, me, let me explain, let me definitionally what, what the word serving it means to be a slave of. Mm -hmm. right, you know what a slave does? A slave does whatever the master says do. Mm -hmm. Now the master in this case would be Jesus mm -hmm. or the Lord. Mm -hmm. So are you a slave to God? Now they turned to God from idols to serve. To serve. Mm -hmm. What are they serving? The living and true God. So they were serving a dead and a false God. Right, but they right, served, they turned right, right, right. to God to serve. Mm -hmm. Now what we gotta do is make sure that we become servants. That's right. Amen. 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 Now I'm not talking about churchgoers mm -hmm. because what we have done in the realm of Christendom. Uh, uh, Brother Kleeman, we have reduced discipleship to membership. That's right. Okay, 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 okay. There's a difference. Somebody shout difference. difference. There's a difference between being a member and a disciple. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Disciple is a learned follower of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Member is a person who's a part of the body. Amen. Your right leg want to move. <laughs> if your right leg want to move, but, but your left leg won't move, your left leg is a member but it ain't going nowhere. Right. Amen. A disciple is one who's a, who's a member but moves. Amen. Works. Amen. Now some of y'all got a leg that you know what? You know you, you, you may not listen, but you still. Amen, somebody. You still moving that thing. Amen, somebody. Keep serving. Amen. And let me tell you something. The same. So in other words, I don't have time, but if you go back up to verse number eight, the Bible says that the word of the Lord sounded forth from them from every place that they went. So in other words, once God has rescued us, placed us into the kingdom, he's rescued us from the wrath to come, we need to let the word of the Lord sound forth. Because you can become an example to all believers when you turn to God and serve him. Amen. you got to serve the Lord. So is the word of God sounding forth from you? Okay, you would think that if he'd done all that to rescue us based on our body of sin where we have been before, you would think that we would do all that we can to try to do all we can to serve the Lord and to be a slave for the Lord. But it's not always that way. Amen. 
All right, let me give you a good example. I think it's a good example. You tell me if it is or not, if you can get it. So, the same attitude that you use, anybody ever got some good gossip information for me? Uh, uh, yeah. Amen. <laughs> now, I'm friends with, I'm friends with half of y'all on Facebook, so I know.
Bible says Jesus in uh, Ephesians 5 23 is the savior of the body. Amen. Amen. Don't miss this definite article. The, the savior of the body. The body. Amen. Not a body. The body. Mm -hmm. There's only one body. That's right. Christ only has one bride. Amen. And let me give you a news flash. Christ is not an adulterer. Amen. He didn't have more than one church. Amen, Amen. somebody. Amen. He only had one bride. Amen, somebody. Amen. And he wants you to be a member of his church. Why do you think right. he died the way that he died? Mm -hmm. And then when I think about the cross, the cross, uh, one of the hymnists said that it's, it's the emblem yeah. of suffering mm -hmm. and shame. And shame. And shame. That's right. I came up with a with a cute little acronym. I don't know if y'all gonna like. It. Can I give it to you real quick? Mm -hmm. The cross is Christ resilience overcoming suffering and shame. Amen. Amen. Christ resilience overcoming suffering and shame. And if Christ had to go through suffering and shame and shame as his disciples you and I just may have to go through suffering and shame Amen. Amen. but you can't give up That's right. because Christ work was not complete until he went to the cross Amen. see see he had to suffer mm -hmm. be shamed humiliated spat upon in his life and, 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 and you may have to go through that too. Amen. Amen. You know, everybody want to go to heaven, heaven but nobody wants to go through that. Yeah. So what I'm trying to show you is he modeled what it's like to live a life that is obedient to the Father. Amen. In other words, he went through the torture, punishment, and, and shame all because he believed the Father. Amen. He was willing to obey the Father. Amen. And he had to suffer and go through torment and shame because it was the will of the Father. Amen. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. But he showed resilience on that cross. Yeah. The emblem yeah. of suffering yeah. and shame. Yeah. So when we look at the totality of the cross, it's just not about just getting up. Mm. It's about the life that he modeled for us as an example that we should do the same thing. Right. Because when, when, when he died on the cross, now God raised him from the dead. Amen. Are y'all in here? Amen. I said God raised him Amen. from the dead. Amen. So you don't get the ultimate reward until the end. Amen. That's what the devil has us fooled. Amen. We want to leave the church because we're not getting what we want right now. Amen. But no, no, don't you leave the church. Don't you, don't you leave Christ. Because, because the real reward happens at the end. Amen. Because that's when God raised him. Y'all ain't feeling this this morning. Amen. When he raised him from the dead. Amen. Never to die again. Yeah. That's why we love the cross. Yeah. But just remember what the cross symbolizes. Yeah. A life of suffering. Yeah. See, see, when we talk about the cross, all we talk about wanting to get up, you know, he got up from the grave. Yeah, he got up from the grave. And I'm, about, I'm about to get him up from the grave in just a minute, too. Amen, somebody. I'm close to church. But let me help you understand what the cross really represents was his resilience overcoming suffering and shame. So what does that mean? You're going to have to go through something. I'm going to have to go through something. Not going to be like Jesus, but we may have to suffer, too. Oh, yeah. But don't you worry about it because while we're suffering, we're waiting on Jesus. He met somebody. Amen. We're looking forward to the reward. Amen. Amen. Anybody in here looking forward Amen. to the reward? Amen. Anybody in here really, 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 really looking forward to the reward? It's we at the Grace yeah. Church of Christ want to thank you for listening. If the Passion for Christ television broadcast has blessed your life this morning and you would like to donate, you can go online to www.graceviewcoc.com, click on the Donate tab, and you can make your tax-deductible donation to this broadcast. God bless you and tune in next week. God, he is alive. Take